Welcome to A4ITV. I'm Siobhan Colleen. Let's interpret some arena chalk markings. Arena chalk markings serve three purposes. To establish the location of each rig point, determine the type of motor required, and to show how the point needs to be built. The three most common types of shapes you will see are a triangle, circle, and square. Each of these shapes will have crosshairs. The intersection of these crosshairs show where to set a self-leveling laser and where the motor chain should land once the rigging is suspended. Keep in mind that these are typical examples and symbols could vary from production to production. A triangle represents a half-ton capacity motor. An FA next to the triangle represents fall arrest and likely indicates the location of a self-retracting device. Circles represent one-ton capacity motors, and squares represent two-ton capacity motors. Once you identify the motor required for each point, you will need to figure out what to build. This represents a dead hang, whereas this seagull represents a bridle. Let's start with the dead hang. This line represents the basket. If the number five is above this line, then that means there will be a five-foot basket. If the number 10 is above this line, then this will be a 10-foot basket. This line indicates the wire rope drop or stinger. If it is left blank, then there's no stinger. The number 10 next to this line means this basket needs a 10-foot stinger. If the number is 20 or 30, then this basket needs a 20 or 30-foot stinger, and so on. These same principles apply to bridles. Can you tell what this chalk marking means? Right, each bridle leg needs a five-foot basket with a 10-foot bridle leg. How about this one? A little tricky, but nothing you can't handle. One side needs a 10-foot basket with a 10-foot bridle leg. The other side requires a split 15 with a seven-foot bridle leg. How about this one? Okay, I admit that was a curveball. Any number preceded by a plus sign means you're using deck chain. An FD means the bridle requires the full deck chain. Lastly, if you see this line, that means that the bridle requires a stinger below the apex. The number 10 adjacent to this line means the stinger will be 10 feet and so on. How do you make your arena chalk markings? What's the craziest chalk marking you've ever seen? Leave a comment. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and if you want to see more rigging videos, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Rig safe out there.